He's clearly very clever, Queen praises Pooch's train to detect cancer at a dog charity event with Camilla, and tells one owner I'm sure you can't imagine life without him. The Queen joined the Duchess of Cornwall to see the remarkable work of the country's cancer detecting dogs firsthand today, and got more of a demonstration than she bargained for. For as well as being trained to use their extraordinary sense of smell to locate early stage disease, some of the incredible canines have also been taught to alert their owners to potentially life threatening conditions such as epilepsy and diabetes. Midway through the display of their work at the Royal Muse, a talented four year old Labrador, Golden Retriever cross called Nimbus realized that his owner, Jody Griffin, who suffers from a rare condition that causes her to fall unconscious several times a day, was about to have an episode. As the monarch looked on, Nimbus jumped up to warn Jody, 28, and helped shepherd her to a safe place so she could lie down. The Queen said afterwards that the demonstration had been marvelous and fascinating. I can imagine that it must be difficult to get enough dogs, she added, and smiled to learn that a number of rescue dogs and failed gun dogs had been trained up. Speaking to another dog owner, the 92-year-old monarch commented, he is clearly very clever. I can imagine that you can't imagine life without him. After she had recovered, pet portrait painter Jody from Cannock, Staffordshire, told the Queen how Nimbus had transformed her life she got him. It's very clever and you must have a very good relationship with him, the monarch said. He's my best friend, Jody, who suffers from postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, known as POTS admitted. She later explained that the charity responsible for training and matching her up with Nimbus, medical detection dogs, hadn't been sure, initially, that it could work as their dogs sense there is a problem based on odor. Jody's blackouts are caused by her body's inability to pump sufficient oxygenated blood to the brain, causing her regularly fall unconscious. But using saliva and sweat samples from Jody, they were, incredibly, able to train Nimbus to pick up on signs that she is about to fall ill that would be otherwise imperceptible to humans. Having Nimbus has just transformed my life she, she said. I can be affected up to two or three times a day and had been too scared to go out in case I hurt myself. He has changed everything. What he and the charity do is just amazing. Medical Detection Dogs was founded by CEO Dr. Claire Guest, a scientist and animal behavior expert. 10 years ago, she is herself in remission from breast cancer after her own dog, Daisy, who sadly died in February this year, detected the disease by nudging her repeatedly in the chest. From that time on I believed that dogs could detect cancer, she said. She has since discovered through rigorous clinical trials that cancer has its own unique odor and that dogs, with their incredible sense of smell, are able to detect it. For example, a canine would be able to sniff out one single teaspoon of sugar in two Olympic-sized swimming pools, and their power of cognitive thinking allows them to even recognize strains of cancer they haven't come across before. Dr. Guest has since made it her life's work to train specialist biodetection dogs to identify the odor of human disease using urine, breath and sweat samples. In clinical trials, the dogs have proved to have up to a 93% reliability for detecting prostate cancer, for example. Early diagnosis can save lives and allow for a less invasive testing and treatment, the charity says. It is now branching out, testing the ability of dogs to recognize early Parkinson's and malaria. Dogs are basically biosensors with a fluffy coat and a waggy tail, Dr. Guest explained today to the Queen. He has an incredible nose. He has 300 million sensory receptors. Us humans have 5 million. The Duchess of Cornwall was certainly impressed by their work and became the charity's patron in 2008, before setting up today's 10th anniversary event. She introduced her mother-in-law to their work with demonstrations by 9-year-old Cocker Spaniel Kizzy, a cancer detection dog, and Black Labrador Peanut, 3, a Parkinson's detection dog who both successfully identified several samples out of a string of placebos. 
she said, one in two of us will now be diagnosed with cancer in the course of our lifetimes. Early detection is crucial to successful medical treatment. It is more important than ever that we develop an easy and reliable test to rocket boost survival rates. I am hugely grateful to the Duchess of Cornwall and to the Queen in helping us to raise awareness of our charity so that our vital research can soon be put into practical use and saving lives. The Queen also met magic whose sense of smell is so acute that he can detect even the most minute changes in his owner's blood sugar levels when she is upstairs in the bath and he is asleep in his basket downstairs. Claire Pesterfield, 45, from Hitchin, Hertfordshire, who has had type 1 diabetes since she was a teenager, says that in five years magic has warned her of danger more than 4,500 times. He has literally saved my life she said. Britain is such a world leader in terms of the dogs that it has recently teamed up with physicist Dr. Andreas Mershon from the prestigious Massachusetts Institute of Technology to develop a digital nose that can also sniff out cancer calls with the help of the latest AI technology.